Howdy gamers, and welcome to another game review by me, Dan, from Game Reviews AU. Today I will be bringing you a very strange game. You may have heard of the cartoon that is of the same name. It is called Tux and Fanny. Now, I wanted to review this game because I saw the trailer for it and it blew me away. The, the, the graphics, the gameplay, it just had me thinking this is an incredibly unique game that one needs to play, especially on Nintendo Switch. I am being half serious and half silly when I say this, of course. Obviously, it's a very basic, basically animated game. Pixely. Crude. Childlike. But it contains this art house film sort of feel to it especially when you do different little games uh, that will change what the graphics look like so you won't always be walking around a pixelated area you might be going down a stream where your character looks a lot more detailed now I haven't actually seen the Tux and Fanny animated movie I'm pretty sure I have heard about it though but in playing the game I realized that it is incredibly deep so basically there are two people Tux and Fanny they want to play ball but their ball has popped so they need to find something to pump it up thus begins your massive adventure you need to go and find codes you need to go and pick up items you need to then use those items on certain objects and you can also take control of a cat and a flea now these two coincide with one another obviously the flea gets onto the cat the cat scratches the flea etc and so on and so forth there is a hell of a lot to do and see in Tux and Fanny if you were to just look at the artwork of it, you would not think that it's a deep game. You would think it's a very crude, a very basic and almost pointless game. But it's a game that is filled with such endearing dialogue, such cute relationships between the, the two characters. And you also gain access to computer games to play within the game of Tux and Fanny. These games will provide a little bit of extra entertainment and also sometimes clues and items that you will need to progress throughout the game. It is the type of move around and find objects and solve puzzles games that you're going to sit and play for hours like I couldn't tear myself away from this game I had a feeling that I would enjoy it but I didn't know I, I would enjoy it this much the music the little soundtracks that you can pick up in the form of records it's I, it's really nice to hear it's you know like bit tunes old school game sort of music but it sounds so cool and then there is a particular point where you read a story on a stormy night. I don't remember the name of the story, but I don't know. I also don't know if it's a real story or if it's made up in Tux and Fanny. Either way, it is a story that you're going to be hanging on every word of. You, you're going to read it and you're just going to think, I, I want to continue playing just so I can hear the rest of this story. The dialogue is really well wit written. The sound effects are fun. I like the way they speak. It's very gobbledy garbled and sounds French at times. I'm not sure. And everything that you explore and have to pick up and the way the world changes depending on what you've done. It's such a surprising game. 
and having it on Nintendo Switch is really fun because you can just pick it up and play it wherever, on the toilet, on the TV, in bed, you name it. And because it has such simple graphics, you're not going to be getting much, uh, uh, you're not going to be sacrificing much visually when playing it in handheld mode. Tux and Fanny is a game that kids could play. There are some uh, parts of the game, some themes that might be a bit too old for kids, i.e. The, um, the, the bug life, saying that they're screaming in agony and, and that the world's going to end and all this stuff. That might be a bit deep, a bit too, too mature, but the rest of the game, it's really cute and it's, it's pretty self-explanatory, i.e. You, you come across something, uh, a, a, a wasp nest, and you're like, well, I'm going to need smoke. How do I get smoke? And then you've got a, you know, you've got things in your inventory. You combine them, and then you know stuff happens. The smoke will occur, and then the wasps bugger off. So you can go into this house, etc. It's yeah, Tux and Fanny, man. I, I'm going to be giving this one five out of five stars. Hate me if you want, but I love this game. If you like this review, please hit the thumbs up button down below. Remember to subscribe to my channel, and if you do so choose to do so, leave a comment down below. Have you watched the Tux and Fanny movie? Should I watch it? Hmm. And yeah, check out my Patreon page, read a bit more about Game Reviews AU, and consider pledging a few bucks. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Yeah, he's boiling.